Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? <clears throat> Excuse me, this is... <clears throat> okay, we're going to start like this. <laughs> this is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. You ready to do the week weekend update? Take time for yourself. How about that? Um, and this is a good weekend to do just that. Um, those of you that can catch a break this weekend... And go sit down somewhere. <laughs> Do it. Do it. I know many of you are stressing. Probably got all kind of crazy ass shit coming towards you. Job, people, relationships, kids, all of it. Um, just kind of hitting you all at the same time. We are rolling tomorrow, Friday, July 23rd through Tuesday, the 27th. Actually, the 28th. We're going to run through the 28th. Um, the energy is fucked up right in the current moment. Um, I read something. What did I read? Neptune is in Pisces <laughs> for another couple years, some shit. <laughs> On top of Uranus being in Taurus. What the hell? Um... Yeah, it, it's that kind of energy. If it, it seems uncertain, just trust and know that uh, things are working on your behalf, Taurus. Uh, we are still, there's a lot of, you know, everybody don't have their shit together. I'm going to just throw that shit out there. Everybody does not have their shit together. Taurus is probably one of the few signs right now. We're just doing what we've always done, grinding down. And working and keeping our head down. That doesn't mean we aren't experiencing things on a different level. So just know that good shit is on the way for those of you that are in that energy. Those of you that are kind of where you want to be, but you still kind of got that discontent and boredom thing going on. That is getting ready to come to an end. Uh, some of you may have some situations developing with your immediate family, i.e. parents, taking care of them, uh, looking after them, maybe helping them move, get into a smaller place. That energy is there. Some of you dealing with your older kids. This is not the little ones. This is teenagers trying to get them off on a good path. I have some folks dealing with kids hanging around with the wrong folks. Summertime and COVID will do that shit to you. Um, if you are aware of those situations in your experience, just do whatever needs doing. Uh, you might get some flack or some backlash from the very people you're trying to help, but that's okay. Like I said, do what needs to be done. For the lovers in the house, there is a true element of deceit going on right now. Um, so, trust and verify. Anybody telling you, especially somebody that you're involved with uh, intimately, trust and verify. That's what I'm going to tell you. Trust and verify. Um, folks are out here lying and telling all kind of tall tales what they doing, what they wish they were doing. Um, cut my air back on. It got a little chilly in here for a minute. On the top, the emperor. On the bottom, three of cups. Some of you may be getting an offer. And that kind of is indicative of what's here on the board. Let's check these out and see what comes out. This is for Taurus Universe. This is for Taurus. Um, hope and wisdom of what's on top right now. I'm going to pull the challenge card last. The hope and wisdom of what's on top right now. Uh, many of you hoping for better circumstances, not that your circumstances are necessarily bad in this moment, they are not, 
but you want better, you want to do better. So you, you can have money stacked up in the bank, but you want more. Uh, so you can have the ability to do more things. You may have a nice apartment, but you want something different. You might have a good car, but you want a better car. That kind of energy. Um, wisdom being on the back end of the overall energy. Use your wisdom. I don't like seeing that. That sucks. Hmm. Three of swords over there. Yeah. Swords. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely uh, trust and verify any intimate relationship shit. Trust and verify. There's some hurt going on here. Many of y'all are just suffering through so all the, the positive energy the bottom cards bring the top cards just kind of knock all that shit the fuck out what the hell what the hell Taurus what the hell what the hell what the hell um especially new newer relationships and I'm not talking about the ex that came back last month six months ago well I'm not talking about that these are new relationships Dealing with brand new people. Trust the verify because there's a lot of a lot of lying going on. Jesus Christ. Don't take it like that. You got the power here, Taurus. I know it might not feel like it, but y'all got the power. Let's see. Pull one of these out for the challenge. I get tired of doing the same thing all the time. Y'all probably get tired of seeing the same thing all the time. So, use these big cards. See what the challenge is going to be. Some of you have family gatherings, family dinner, family brunch, whatever you're doing this weekend. Um, this is a good time to sit back and listen and watch. So that's the challenge. The sun card and then this deck is about not going with the flow. Oh, Lord, not going with the flow. Um, there's success here for all of this. There's success, but there's a lot of um, what are we gonna take that fell out. That's what we're gonna take. See the solution. So the sun card would see the solution. That's your challenge. Get out. Stop pushing against what's going on. Kind of get into the groove and go with the flow. And as you begin to do that, see the solution to the problems that you're having, um, which in my head here is kind of going along with this wisdom card on the back end of your overall energy. The Knight of Swords is sitting on top of that. So there's going to be some unforeseen shit going on here in the next three, four, five, six days. Uh, your wisdom your past experience and your wisdom is what's holding you down right now. Understanding that, you know, bad times don't last always. That bullshit. But real shit, no doubt. Um, and just kind of watching. Some of you are still that going against the grain, going against the flow. Some of y'all are still trying to swim upstream. Um, use your wisdom. You need to fall back on things that you've experienced in the past. Um, the sun is glowing to me in this one on this card um which you got the sun over here in your challenge so definitely going with the flow uh and not stressing and straining too 
too much with the um, justice card on top of the hope card. It's that kind of energy of just kind of hoping for all this shit to blow over, but having an understanding that you got to tear up the old shit to get to the new shit. And then when you get to the new shit, you got to be careful of what you're getting involved with or who you're getting tangled up with. This is this is all floating up on the top side of your overall energy. Um, and you can kind of feel the unforeseen part. Not a sense of foreboding, but a sense that something is the other shoe getting ready to fall, however that resonates with you. Um, this is not bad energy. You actually are Get the damn card off the table. You actually are here. You, you, this is what your aim is. But it is the remembrance of these things. Hello. <laughs> that is going to help you build the kind of foundation that you want. So this may not be a real good weekend. And I'm going to say what I started saying before I put the cards down. It's probably be a good weekend to get in the house. And binge watch some shit. This is not a good weekend to do a whole lot of internal retrograde. Oh my God, why did I do this? Why did I? It's not that kind of weekend because if you, you get into that, you're going to end up right here and that's where you don't want to be, especially if you got new shit coming. Once again, I'm going to say this about the new shit. You need to do your due diligence especially in intimate sexual relationships. I said sexual, I sure did. STDs, what's coming to mind right now. Um, some of you getting ready to embark on a new relationship and it just seems like, oh, it's so wonderful. And then you find out some bitch got herpes or crabs or chlamydia or something. So do your due diligence. Do, do the best that you can. Some of you may have friends that and now I'm just channeling messages. Some of you may have friends that know people that you're trying to hook up with or trying to get to know. Ask questions. Please do not hesitate to ask questions. You might be blown over by what you hear. And that can go either good or bad. But do your due diligence. Uh, some of y'all are getting connected with people that are just straight, out, straight ass, straight up liars. Period. And while you're trying to build a firm foundation... You're already doing this off of shit from the past, you know, trying to heal whatever other wounds from whatever other relationships. You're not trying to compound that right now. And I know that this energy is tricky because a lot of you are like, I've been single too long. I don't want to be single anymore. Yeah, well, hold on. <laughs> Just hold on because there are worse things than being single. Trust me. Looking at tomorrow's energy with the Three of Swords on top of the Spiritual Union, um, the Three of Swords in this deck on this side, talking about keeping a distance. I would just, when it comes to any kind of union type shit, I would do just that. Keep some distance. Um, there, there are secrets here that you're not being told, especially with brand new people. If this is somebody from your past, you already know what the dealio is, um, and that may spurn some conversations. I don't think for those of you that are dealing with older relationships that this is going to have quite the one-two punch that it will in newer relationships. And some of you may be like, hey, he's the one. And he's so kind. And yeah, but there's some shit going on. So the best way to deal with that is to just keep some distance. Once again, what comes to mind is a couch. <laughs> A bowl with some snacks in it, like a Snickers or Musketeers bar. I'm just saying. Some popcorn and chill. It's a good weekend to sit down and hide, <laughs> literally, in your house. Um, and let this energy kind of blow over. Um, there's a lot of hotheads out here right now, too. So, to mind your P's and Q's. Let me just throw that out there. Mind your P's and Q's when you're driving. Be mindful when you're in the grocery store. Because uh, people are just acting straight bone ass crazy. So just be aware of whatever's going on. At any rate, uh, keep your distance. Keep your do, do your best some detachment, especially with newer relationships. Um, and just observe. Because the truth is going to come out. One way or the other, the damn truth is going to come out. 
So, uh, and that's sending me back up here to this Knight of Swords, the unforeseen events. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. You might be surprised at what you hear. Looking at Saturday's energy material harvest, the Nine of Cups. Uh, I don't know why, but here's another message being channeled. Um, those of you that are buying houses, and I know that's, that's a small cross-section of y'all. Um, you should hear news about closing the deal. So for most of you, this is going to be a pretty decent thing. Others of you, it may be a job. So I know this is what I'm calling in, in my little linear brain, Saturday's energy. This could be Friday, could be Monday, could be next Friday. But the energy is here. So things, whatever it is that your big contract things that you've got going on, houses, cars, jobs, you should start to get to the wind down so you can get in said car or said job. That's good news right there. Um, there may be some final details. Some of you may have to take drug tests. Some of you may have to do some additional paperwork for something. Uh, but all looks well. That nine is telling me that whatever this process is or was is coming to an end. And from that point, the material harvest begins. Let the games be in. There you go. Um, there's a note of spirituality, obviously. You can see him with his hands out, being thankful. And I'm going to say, whatever it is that's coming your way, let the creator know how thankful you are. There's a lot of people that aren't in your position towards them. We'll just put it to you like that. whole lot of people not in your position, not able to manifest what they want because they don't know. So show some gratitude, when it, whatever, whatever, whenever, whatever happens. Um, looking at Sunday's energy with the Ten of Swords on top of that firm foundation, just what I said earlier, um, many of you are coming up out of the ashes, the Phoenix out of the ashes and, and beginning the rebuild. And it's being done <laughs> off the back of the pain and the psychic shit, hurtful, whatever, that you've come through. But once again, this all kind of floats back to this wisdom card. You know, the wisdom doesn't come from smiles and handshakes. Wisdom comes from pain and ass kicking. That's where wisdom comes from. You know better now because blah, da, 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 da. You went through whatever. Dark night of the soul whatever you want to call it, out of all of that. And you should begin to see the fruits of that, whether it's in relationships or in the physical world dealing with material things. You should see the beginnings of your firm foundation beginning to set, if you will. Um, but just remember, you know, how you got here, all the stress you had to, to be under to dealing with whatever, even if this is, you're talking about a relationship, um, because everybody is not going to fall into the due diligence category. You know, you done met somebody new and you need to run around trying to find out what the fuck went on. Everybody's not in that category. Some of you are past that point. And so you just have to remember how you got to this point and how you're not going to let anybody else do this to cause all of that <laughs> and fucking with this. Just saying. So remember how you got where you are. That's the energy right there. Looking at Monday's energy with the four cups on top of the love begins. Again, some of you are getting off into uh, new relationships and you may have some regrets about your past. You know, the one that you really wanted got away or wasn't interested or some other shit. And that, that may give you pause. And rightfully so. This is just what I'm telling you. You know, do your due diligence. And find out if the person who just seems like a knight in shining armor it's a heartbreaker, because it could be, male or female, person you're looking at could well be a heartbreaker in disguise. And a lot of times the universe will throw the same shit you just got out of with some other person, with a new person, to see how much you've grown. When you start seeing red flags, you just you feel that relationship fatigue set in, hey, maybe it's time to move on. Um, again, with newer things that are just getting started, I would definitely do my due diligence because at the end of this, you do not want to have any regret. See, I wrote it right there. Don't want to have any regret. You kind of pass this energy of feeling like opportunity has passed you by 
but then, you know, you got to be looking at the opportunity that's coming or that's there. Because, again, everybody is not being upfront and truthful. So just be mindful of that. If you can get through the weeds and all of this, then this is certainly right here. Spiritual union. Uh, for some of you, that may be soulmate energy. So just be mindful of what's going on. Be mindful of the people you're dealing with right now. That is sitting up underneath the spiritual union. Love begins. Uh, and that three of swords. Do what you need to do. Ask the questions that you need to ask. Mondays, Tuesdays energy. Monday, Tuesday, yep. Tuesdays energy with the King of Swords on top of the pride. Um, you may be getting some accolade, accolades. Said that right. For some of the things you've done in the past, um, and there is certainly a time in life when you can be proud. And prideful, and this is going to be one of them. Um, certainly, know that it will be if you got anything like this coming, it will be because of um, your rigid work ethic. Yes, I said that right rigid work ethic, uh, and that people are recognizing what you're doing. Um, accept whatever's coming your way gratefully. Um, some of you. This may not be an actual promotion, but it may be a bonus of some sort in your paycheck, um, which money is always a good thing, especially for a bull. Others of you, you, you may be awarded with more responsibility, and not in a bad sense. You know, they didn't gave you another 10 hours worth of work, and you only got eight hours. Not like that, but putting you in charge of things because they trust you. So take this moment that you're being recognized for something. Uh, and know that it is, it, it is that bitch in you, come on, <laughs> that got you here. And setting firm boundaries and, you know, following whatever the policy and the procedure is. That is why you've been, and it's okay to be proud about that. At the end of all of this, looking at Wednesday's energy, the suffering in silence with the Ace of Wands. Those of you that have been suffering in silence, where's my shit? It is not coming. This is over. This is over. You got a nine. You got an ace on the top. So action is getting ready to pick up. Those of you that have been in the doldrums, and this runs the spectrum. You ain't heard nothing from no no employer, no job, no nothing. By the time you get to first part of next week, you should begin to hear things. Those of you that have been looking, dealing with intimate relationships, trying to find a partner, mate, same holds true for you as well, coming to an end with all this craziness and not being able to connect with people on a deeper level, all of that. Coming to an end, and she's going to start moving quickly, just like that lightning strike. She's going to boom, you look, what the hell, wait a minute, I was just sitting here crying, how the hell? That kind of energy is going to move that quickly. The same holds true, though, for you Tauruses that are resonating with this. You're getting ready to jump off into something new. Some of you may have more than one or two suitors. You might have three or four knocking on your door trying to, hey, can you go out for a date? You want to hang out? Do your due diligence, Taurus. Do your due diligence because people are talking shit and telling tall tales. That's what I'm hearing. Um, once again, <laughs> clarify your thoughts. That just fell out. Once again, your challenge, the sun. To see the solution on top. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. That's your challenge. See the solution. And know that you you can manifest whatever it is. You can be successful in whatever it is that you want to do as long as you have everything that you need to know out in the light of day. I'm talking about the sun card. Um, things that you can't get out. In the light of day are probably things that you need to leave alone. People that, you know, you can't really verify that they are who they say they are. They live where they say they probably need to leave that alone. Get back to nature. When I wrote this card, I was trying to think of a way to say get grounded without saying get grounded. Get grounded. Um, especially with this Neptunian, Plutonian illusory, illusionary energy sometimes 
it will just take you on a whirlwind and have you up in your head about a whole lot of shit. So if you're feeling like you got too much going on up in your head, now is a good time to get grounded. And I'm going to go back to what I started saying when I started the reading. Probably a good weekend to just sit and chill, as my cousin would say, and just let things go on around you without you actually getting involved. Taking a step back, that three of swords up there, keeping a distance. And let's talk about the red flags with these new relationships. If it look like a duck and it quack like a duck, what the hell? It's a damn duck. That part right there. I don't know who this is for. It's not over. Those of you that have old situations that have been just kind of feel like they just lost at sea, it ain't over. I don't know who this is for, but it ain't over. So just know that part. My boo babies, I love you. I'm trying to be back up here on Saturday doing an energy update. We got the month of August rolling in here shortly. Uh, this is the last full week of July. We got a uh, we got a full moon this Saturday, the 24th. So within the next 36 hours, we got a full moon coming. Use this time of the full moon to uh, kind of rid yourself of anything. And, and this is literally and figuratively as well. You got shit just stacked up in your house that you don't need. Get rid of it during this full moon energy. You got thoughts and habits and beliefs and things that are just holding you down. Take this time this weekend to get clear that shit out. Because once we get through this full moon energy and get through the end of this month next week, of course, we get ready to roll up on some new moon energy. How you figure that? I love my bull babies. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.